After a long and generous cavity search, I finally reached my destination, maximum security, home of some of the most violent sociopaths in the country, and the worst of them all, Rocco Dillon. You're chirping awfully loud for New Canary. Keep flashing the big eyes, now personally balance and rotate your jaw. Hey! The man is Rocco Dillon. Where's your prison number? It's unlisted. big controversies, of course, in the film, or at least a question, is the uh, part where, when he lands and he uh, blows the, the hatch off and whether he claimed always that it was a malfunction and uh, others uh, felt maybe he panicked and, and mm. did it himself. Did you come to any conclusions about that, Fred? Well, I feel that he didn't panic, nor did he blow the hatch. What do you think happened? Well, I think it just malfunctioned. I believe I've heard someplace where they did test it afterwards and it did blow by itself. Mm -hmm. And um, there were other factors. He didn't have bruises on his knuckles, which the other astronauts did if they blew it themselves because of the kickback from the charge. And I think one of the most important factors was I did listen to some of the tapes and there wasn't really a sense of panic in his voice. And I think your voice does uh, reveal what's going on inside of you. You come in low under his line of sight. You leap, <coughs> taking him down, placing your hand over his nose, pulling his face away from your knife hand. At the base of the skull to the right of the spine, into what the Chinese call the wind gate. You insert, scramble the brains. What you have is instant rag doll. Claire, I'm here by mistake. I don't mean harm and I don't want to cause any trouble. I'm not the law. I got no business here and I'm sorry for whatever it was I did that made everybody so mad. And if you'll just take me back to my motorcycle, well, I'll ride out of this town and, and I'll never look back. I, I, I don't know what it is that you, that you people are doing, and I don't want to know, and I won't say a word. I'll just ride out, and as far as I'm concerned, <laughs> this place is history. Take off your clothes. What? You heard me, Mr. Swan. I do not believe this. <laughs> Yeah, you reckon he hated perfection more than us? You suppose he wanted to kill himself? Come on, somebody must have chased him up there. <laughs> what do you mean, someone ain't scared of a Winchester rifle? Then what'd they do? Camp out down below and just wait for him to die? Ah, oh, Jesus! What the hell's going on? I mean, what the hell is going on? Before his novels shocked the world, before her diaries inspired a generation, they lived an adventure more erotic than any fantasy. Annis, meet my wife, June. All right. Wait a minute, Rocco. Before we're all blown to bits, mind if I pull the underwear out of my shirt? All right, give it up, Rocco. Your history. Look, George Hamilton. on what you know, not what you see. Whoa! 